Hello everyone, and today, we're back into some more Lumion Legacy PvP, and today, I am going up against Cotton Stoops, and his team looks really scary. Really, really scary. I mean, there's a Pyrolin, a Sidragon, Kata, the Clips. This team looks very scary, but I can definitely play this well. I'm gonna definitely bring Yeklo. I think I kinda have to. Zipzap's actually free, so that's good. I'll bring my Melee Kazune. By the way, Cotton Stoops is another YouTuber. He does a lot of PvP analysis, and I will leave the link to his channel in the description below. So, so subscribe to his channel. Uh, kinda I'm not sure what to do. Uh, yeah, Luminami's not good for this. Darn, still Pivot could be so good, but I don't think I'm gonna bring it. Do I bring Stalvantic? Kinda have to for that thing. Oh, but you could be so good. So, yeah, I'm gonna bring Defense Form. Yeah, I'll lead off with Joshua Star 77. Let's do this. Let's see who Cotton Stoops leads with, and he leads with Hot Tub. Hey, I bring Helvantic. I didn't bring Helvantic. <laughs> oh no, I did not bring. I did not lead Hel. I did not bring Helvantic. That's not good. I did not lead Helvantic. Uh, not good. This is really not good. I might get swept right off the bat. I might get swept right off the water, right off the bat. What do I do? Oh no. Do I outspeed you? Uh oh. Uh. I'm in trouble. Well, this is really not a good start. Gotta bring you in already. Yeah! I I didn't really think about Tata right off the bat. I think I'm gonna get swept already. Because I didn't bring Helvantic. I wish I had more time. I should have replaced Nemochi. He swapped out, thankfully. And a Pyrolin, which gives him a plus one. It gives his Pyrolin a plus one. And a Fanning Flame. Which does stink. But. I'm gonna go into Ikazune, or do I? He could go for Peace of Mind. I'm gonna go for Magnify here, actually. He swapped into. Okay, Tatsup comes back in. That's good, actually. I get a Magnify off. Magnify off. Wow. Dutch Dream. I don't care if the Pyrolin comes back in. He knows his Tatab is his way to win, which is kind of scary. If I can get rid of that Tatab, I think we'll be in a good spot. We gotta get rid of his Tatab. If we don't get rid of Cotton Stoop's Tatab, we're gonna get swept by it. Stratosaur is my way to win. So we need to utilize that to our advantage. I mean, he has a Eclipse, he has an Obsidragon, he has a Pyrolin, he has a Tatab. Like, there's a... Best Bra is also kind of scary. Yeah, there's a lot of scary Lumians. We're going to have to play this really well if you we want to win this. Who are you going to go into? I think he tried to double to predict someone swapping in. But I don't think Cotton Stoops knows this is my clutch, rageful, plushy one. He might know now, though. So it's back into Pyrolin. And yeah, that does a lot of damage. Banning Flame. And we can get rid of the Pyrolin. Yeah, we're getting rid of this Pyrolin right off the bat. So the Pyrolin is already out of the picture. That's big. Having Pyrolin gone is huge. Who does he go into next? Who will Cotton Stoops go into next? So I have enough for two Metallical Blasts, which is good to know. I have enough for two Metallical Blasts. He goes into Vesperatu. That is not good at all. That's not good at all. He, he's, he's probably going to bait the Tots up coming in. Will he bait it? He did bait it. Dang it, he bait it. He baited the Tots up coming in. Bruh. Like, I got to damage the Tots up. If I don't damage the Tots up, I'm going to get swept. Yeah, he attacks me. He thrash. Okay, he damages himself. I got clutch. By the way, a Timber Thrash from a... Yeah, critical hit. You can't go through... You, your RNG is not going to get through a clutch. So get out of here, Tatab. 
Alright. But now it's Eclipse and Obsidragon are looking really rough now. Vesperatu comes on in. I have to go for Rest here. I could also flail at it, but I have to go for Rest here. Nothing else I can do here. So I got rid of the Pyrolin and I got rid of the Tatub. Although I kind of lost my biggest Lumion. So, yeah. I did lose, like, my best Lumion. We'll go into Ikizune. And I'm going to throw a Raging Flame. I'm going to throw a Raging Flame. Let's see if this Vesperatu... Let's see what the Vesperatu does here. Vesperatu's scary. I gotta chip that Vesperatu. There's no doubt I gotta chip the Vesperatu. If I can chip the Vesperatu, I can bring in Gargolem Attack Form. And Gargolem Attack Form might be able to win where it's at. So, I hope he swaps out. I'm throwing a Raging Flame. He might think this could be a Boots at Kizune. It's risky, though. Let's see. Let's see what it is Vesperatu does. He is really thinking of what move he can click. Is he going to stay in and risk the Fire Breath or Energy Surge or Flash and Flay? Man, this is scary. This is the biggest moment of the game. I probably should have just clicked Blaze Chomp. Cotton Stoops is really thinking of a move here. He stayed in for the Shadow Sprint. All right. Raging Flame. Well, you're now stunned. His Vesperatu being stunned is huge. So we're going to go for the Blaze Chomp. The Raging Flame comes in clutch. So now his Vesperatu is not going to be able to do that much damage. He goes for another Shadow Sprint. A Blaze Chomp coming in hot. Please do a ton. Oh, I'm not even close to one-shotting. Dang it, not even close to one-shotting. I'll go for another Blaze Chomp. Oh, he outsped me. Dang, he outsped me. That's not good. Okay, yeah, this is not good. This is really not good. Yeah, I wish. Dang it. Gonna go for the Gargolem, Gargolem Attack Form. We're going to Gargolem attack form for Jack Stream. Let's see what Cotton Stoops does here. I kind of forgot the rest of his team. He has a Eclipse in the back. His best Bratu is very low. Let's see what he does. He might be able to win this battle if play right. It just depends whether... If his last two was to Eclipse and up Sidragon, I think we could win. I get rid of his Vesperatu. I get a Master Boost. A crit when he's at Red Hell. All right, the Master Boost is up. Who do you have left is the question. That's the biggest question. Who do you have left? You have an Icy Goal. Rip, you have an Icy Goal. Oh, no, you have an Icy Goal. I can't hit you. <laughs> I can't hit you. I gotta go Mimochi. No, I lost. I lose the Icy Goal. There's the Ice Hammer. Ow. Ow. I can't even hit this thing. I can't hit I can't hit Icy Goal. Gosh dang it, I can't even hit it. Like I lose, I lose the Icy Goal. Of course! This is when I lose to an Icy Goal. I should have kept a Kazune. Uh, I can't beat Icy Goal. Unless I chip it a little bit, maybe. I gotta chip it at least a little bit if I wanna have a chance. I need to chip it at least a little bit. That is nowhere near enough. Hypnotize on an Icy Goal. Health Amulet on an Icy Goal. I lose the weirdest stuff. I battled Terraso recently. And when I lost to Terraso, I lost to a Scapegoat Gargolo. And I'm going to lose to a Hypnotize that. This last one's Obsidragon, too. This last one's Obsidragon. Can't go into Soul Thief. I, there's literally nothing I can do. There's literally nothing I can do that can win this battle. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, there's nothing I can do now. Maybe I could still outspeed the Upsidragon. I'm gonna need everything I can get. Dutch string coming in hot. Alright, please. Okay, I two shot it. Primal, live one. I live one. Death stream. He swapped in the icy goal. Dang it! He swapped in the icy goal. 
takes no damage whatsoever. He takes zero. He takes zero damage whatsoever. I have to go for an Earthquake here and hope it's enough. Hope it's enough against the Icy Goal. His Icy Goal is going to have Rejuvenate, though, and it's not going to matter. Hypnotize Icy Goal, and that's how I lose. Hypnotize Icy Goal. Hypnotize Icy Goal, and that's how we lost. <laughs> Dang it. Hypnotize Icy Goal. Yep, that, that's an L. He could even go back up Sidragon here, but that play is just too risky, yeah. He just goes for the Earthquake. Oh, I needed a crit there. The only good thing is that his Icy Goal is almost out of energy. The only way I'm going to win this battle is if I can get a freaking crit. I need to get a crit. That's literally the only way I'm going to win this battle. I need a crit bad. I need, like, two crits bad. This hypnotizing shenanigans is really getting on my nerves. I live that pretty well, though. I need to wake up now. I need to wake up. If I don't wake up, there's no way I'm going to win. I need to wake up now. There's a turn to get up. It's now. Come on! Get up! Uh, Totemochi! You need to wake up! If you don't wake up, there's no chance. Finally! Okay, now I need crits. I need a lot of crits now. It's not a critical hit, dude. That is not a critical hit. And yeah, I lose from here. Unless you go for Hypno. Yeah, this is going nowhere. I think it's over. Darn it, I think it's over. I need a crit! Ah, oh, I lost it, nine. I live. Critical! Critical hit! If it does- if this critical hits... It didn't crit. Why can't I get any RNG? All I needed was one crit! And maybe! Just maybe! I swear, I, I always lose against other YouTubers. It stinks! Ah, uh, it sucks a lot. I'm really upset by that. I should have won that. I can't believe it. I completely just lost freaking Ikazune. If I didn't lose Ikazune, maybe I would have won that. Or if I brought Stalvantic for that Taw Tub. <sighs> I was just rushed. Gosh dang it. But yeah, next time. Next time I'm up against another YouTuber, I'm going to go all in and I'm going to try to win against another YouTuber. I can't take... I feel like I've lost my last five against Lumion Legacy YouTubers, and it hurts a lot. But yeah, next time I go up against a YouTuber, I'm going to go all in. I'm not going to use any meme strategy, because this is painful. Every time I try to use something like this, I get wrecked by one Lumion, and then there's nothing I can do about it. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me going up against Cotton Stoops, and I'll see y'all all later. Bye-bye!